There we go. Welcome back to another video, my beautiful fans. Today I will show you a very basic tutorial on how we can manipulate instructions inside games or even completely disable them. This tutorial will be in a 32-bit game written in C++. If you decide to choose a game written in a different language or a different architecture, the tutorial might be hard to follow. If you use a different game than I, remember to check for anti-sheets so you don't get banned. I warned you about this, so don't go in the comments below claiming that you got banned because of me. You knew there was a certain risk when cheating in games and I'm not responsible. And now we're at the desktop. So the game that I will uh, use for this video, it will be Plants vs Zombies. It's a pretty old game by now, I think it's from 2007 or something like that. But it's incredibly easy to to write scripts for so let me just show what the, the main uh, points of the game are so you have this lawn which uh, or, and this house which the zombies want to get to but you defend it with plants so uh, let's just pick some there we go and you have these sun points and now we before before we do anything let's open sheet engine sheet engine and we attach sheet engine to the process so plants vs zombies and I will not use the table so what if we wanted to get more suns and in this game if you place a tower or fl flower my bad like this mushroom it will give you sun points so it gave me 15 there we can actually find that adding sun points instruction and edit it so first off we search for the value it writes to which is this sum points value and it's 40 so we search for 40 and let's place a true and now it's 15 so we'll have one address which is good and when we have one address we can find out what writes to this address and uh, the sheet engine will attach a debugger which takes all the information what has contact with this address so we can see what opcodes or op codes writes to our address so for example we could pick up some sum points which we gather from this true and there we go so as you can see an instruction was made add ecx to eax plus and the address so we can show it in the assembler and here we get a better view of what's happening so this is the opcode instruction sorry if i explained it badly i'm not that good at this but what we can do is uh, we could completely get rid of this instruction or nop it no op <laughs> we pronounce it somehow but what I mean is replace code with that does nothing. Nop. So, what name? Uh, yeah. And as you can see, it basically disables the instruction. So, let's wait for some sum points. So, we have 30 sum points, and we pick one up, and it does nothing since we have disabled the instruction. Now that we know that we have the right instruction, we can hit restore with original code, and it's back. 
Now, if we wanted to get, for example, 150 sun points instead of 15 from these shrooms, we could uh, go to tools and auto assemble, which brings up the scripting table, and we'll add a uh, enable and a uh, disable. So what we write under the enable will happen if we enable the script and if we hit disable we will return to the normal code. So they actually have templates for code injection so we don't need to write that much. Now before we hit on code injection make sure you have the correct um, instruction highlighted because otherwise it will uh, create this template with a different address but when you have highlighted the correct one uh, hit code injection and OK and now we've got this nice template template to mess around with so we can remove this and remove this and remove this so to explain it briefly we allocate uh, new memory in the RAM or whatever to write our own code so when we uh, enable our script whenever this instruction happens it will jump to the allocated memory we wrote and we can execute our own assembly code so for example here we add ECX to EAX plus whatever. We could do 96 in hexadecimals is, or in decimal it's 150. So whenever I can show it calculator. So go to programmer and now we can do something like this. So in decimals 150 in hex 96. So whenever we pick up a sum point, it will add 150 to this address. If we wanted to save this as a script, we could hit file and assign to current sheet table. Uh, also, I forgot to explain the, the loss of it, but uh, when we disable it, we we remove the allocated memory and we replace the original instruction where we changed it to jump to our allocated memory and yeah that's about it so file assign to current sheet table and now when we move these we should have an auto assemble script here to use. So let's remove these a little bit and we can change the name so 150 more sum. So when we ac activate this it should give us 150 more sum each time we pick something up. Let's hope we don't die from this zombie. Or we won't, we have a protection so look 30 and now we have 180 so we can pick that up too so we have successfully changed the instruction for um, the amount of sun each uh, sun we pick up gives so, if we wanted to change this number to a specific number, we could do something like this. So, you right click and change the script if you want to edit your script. And we could do something like move. And what move does, it takes this value 
which we wrote afterwards, uh, after with a comma, and we paste it in this address. So if we would hit OK and enable it now, it would write 150 when we pick up a some point. So let's bring out the calculator and now the max is uh, 9,990, I believe. So let's pick, have it pick up 10,000 some points and in decibel 2,710. 2,710. So now this value will be placed in our sun value or sun address, whatever. So hit OK once you're done and have it active. Let's just wait for another sun to be picked up. Look now. And it's 9,990. You can mess around a lot with this. You can, for example, remove the damage of the zombies. You could uh, remove the... or the direction, so they would stand still. Their movement. You, could, you can do a lot of things with this. And if you want more tutorials explaining this further, because this was really basic, I'm not, I'm kind of new myself to this, so uh, sorry if I explain this poorly. Write a comment, yeah, give me f some feedback. But thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.